Well, it's a lovely good evening. Welcome to Prime Television. This evening, we have a very special program lined up for you this evening on Prime Television. As we all know, we are about to cross over to the New Year's. We are about to welcome the New Year 2020. We have a beautiful program which, is, which has been lined up for you just to welcome the New Year in a special way, in a special gesture. At this moment, I am your presenter, Luando Billy Chega, to be with you until when we'll be counting down as we'll be welcoming the new year 2020. At this, on this program, rather, I am joined by Mr. Chris Pin Chinda, who is also known as Mr. Chris Mo, who is also Monali aspiring member of parliament for 2021, and he is also the businessman. Welcome to the program. Thank you, young man. Thank you, Billy. It's, it's, and, it's good to have you on this program, especially when uh, we are about to welcome the New Year 2020. Yes, yes, Billy. It's uh, actually uh, a privilege that um, 
I'm counting down with you. Exactly. And um, in this studio, it's, it's, a, it's a nice studio. Um, I like it. Well done to Prime TV. It's a good, very, very good studio. And uh, well, we're counting, uh, we're going, we're crossing over to, uh, to 2020. Uh, well, it's, uh, I mean, a happy new year to, to everyone that is uh, watching uh, right now. Well, we're delighted to have you on this platform. Thank you very much. Uh, to start with, as we are welcoming uh, the year 2020, maybe there's some other people who don't know who Chris Bill Chinda is. Maybe we can just go through your biography or who you are. So okay. people, maybe they can have a, a grasp on that. Yeah, basically my, my short history is that um, I'm a Crispin Chinda mm. uh, who has grown up in, in Munali constituency. Uh, I'm born and bred in Munali. I grew up in Tendere there. I uh, did my, my primary school in, in Chongorulu at Kapete Primary School. I went to Magoe Basic School where I did my grade 8 and 9. I came back to, uh, to Lusaka at Iwala Secondary School. And um, eventually I did a tertiary education and ICM. I have a um, diploma in law. Um, there was a time in my life where I, I had to decide whether I, I pursue a degree in law or I start up a business. But after uh, going to Dar es Salaam, uh, East Africa particularly, mm. I was inspired on uh, how people were working there. So I decided when I came back, I made a decision that uh, uh, let me pursue business. So since then, I've been doing business uh, for 16 years now. So it's, uh, it has been a, a rough time, mm. uh, but um, I mean, uh, you know, after doing so much in business, there's a time where you think, is it worth it that I, I can continue doing uh, a business for that long? Mm. Or uh, uh, am I competing with anyone uh, that I should have all these things that, uh, that we need in, in the world? Mm. But then I had a turning point where I thought I can jump on a different platform and uh, start helping out the people. So for now, um, I've been helping out uh, uh, the people in the communities. So I've dedicated my life to work for, for people in the communities uh, of Monali constituency. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the history that we have in Monali is that uh, we've never had a, a person born and bred in Monali. All the MPs that have come to Monali are, are, are those that have not stayed um, in the Monali constituency. Mm -hmm. So it will be an opportunity, and uh, this gives us an opportunity, the people of Monali, that in 2021, at least we'll have a name that is uh, born and bred in Monali constituency. Mm -hmm. and, and this gives me a, a, a lot of motivation because a lot of our people are in support of my candidature. Uh, a lot of our women and, and the youths are in support of um, this cause. So I'm very happy that um, um, all my businesses are within the, the constituency. They say that um, there's no place like home. And mm -hmm. for me, exactly. Monali is, is home. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought I can stand up and there's no one else who can uh, develop our constituency better than yourselves, ourselves. So uh, we want to join hands with the people of Monali uh, so that we can develop, uh, we can make a difference in the constituency. Mm -hmm. Basically, what we're trying to do is um, we're promoting three things in the constituency. Uh, we're trying to pro promote togetherness in the constituency so that our people are working in unity. You know that um, when you are speaking, uh, when you're working together and speaking as a, mm -hmm. as a community, you can, we can achieve a lot of things and um, uh, obviously even the government will listen more when we're speaking as a community of Monali. Uh, the second one, we are trying to promote peace mm -hmm. in our communities. Uh, we have challenges in our communities right now where we have uh, our young people that are calling themselves fluffies mm -hmm. and uh, because they want to be drinking every day so they, they're ending up uh, attacking people that are working so hard in the communities. But I know that by working together in the community, together with the police in the community, we'll be able to, uh, to achieve um, or that, that peace that we want in the community. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last one is um, uh, we are trying to promote also uh, hard work in the community. We know that when we're working together, we can aspire 
a lot of our young people, a lot of people to work so hard and we can achieve a lot. Uh, look, there's a, there's a clinic in Kaunda Square which is closing, which has been closing at uh, 17 hours for a long time now, mm -hmm. for more than 10 years. So by working together, we can even uh, lobby for land somewhere and together as a people of Munadi, we can even build uh, uh, our own clinic, a community clinic, so that the government can provide manpower and uh, the people that uh, that can help uh, in, in accessing health services in, in our constraints. We can also, like in Tendere East, mm -hmm. we also have we, uh, security concerns. Uh, so when we sit down as a people, uh, we can contribute whatever we can and uh, put our efforts together. We can again uh, build a, cl a, a police post and, and uh, and a clinic mm -hmm. in Mtendere East because um, uh, I know that uh, we have somewhere examples, uh, somewhere where um, community uh, police posts have been built by the community itself. Um, even schools, community schools, we can build as a community. Then we provide, uh, you know, the the, the uh, teachers who are who are qualified mm -hmm. in the in the community. So these are the causes that I want to champion in the community. So me, my leadership is community based, and uh, I want to to work with the people in the community. It's um, uh, it's not based on uh, 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 lobbying too much from government, but mm -hmm. I believe that there's power in uh, working together as a community and I know that we can achieve a lot. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, following what you've said, uh, I do believe that you are, you, you've done law according to yes. what you've said. Yes, yes, yes. And you're also a businessman. Yes, yes. One of the prominent people that the country has been looking at. Uh, but why is it that most of the times people who are businessmen, they tend to get into politics? and. Uh, even after acquiring quite quite a number of, 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 of quite, quite a number of huge amounts of money, yeah. uh, they tend to get into politics, mm -hmm. and uh, people tend to be questioning that person. To say, what does he really want to achieve? Okay. Even uh, after acquiring quite a number of uh, huge amount of money, then he gets into politics. Mm -hmm. What really do you want to achieve for you to get? Or as you, when you decided to get into politics, yes, what yes. really do you want to achieve? Yeah, my my going on a on a political platform mm -hmm. is a little bit different from from others. Uh, mine really was a, I was at a time when I, I, I sat down and I looked at um, um, you know we one by one will be called to answer the call to the Lord. Uh, we only live once, and um, we only have one life. Mm -hmm. Then uh, you ask yourself a question: What is it that? Uh, uh, after my time, people will remember me for. And, and this is the reason why I said, okay, let me dedicate my life mm. in trying to leave a legacy of hard work in the community. I want people to remember me that at least I champion the cause of our people in the community in working together mm. and also that I promoted peace in the community. I'm also on the other side, I'm also a promoter of family values and principles mm. because a lot of things have gone wrong in our, in our communities. So um, it's not about uh, how much wealth you can make. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it, it does not even matter. Oh, we ha the difference we are trying, we are we are making, or the difference I'm trying to make is that, you know, our generation mm -hmm. has uh, uh, made a difference. Uh, our fathers, our our parents, four parents, um, when they were dying, they just left the weight to us. Mukasungane mm -hmm. um, on our Meantime, there was nothing they left for us. To empower us. Uh, yes. But, uh, but our generation, we have invested a lot in our children. Mm -hmm. We've taken them to good schools, uh, private schools. We've, 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 we've done, you know, laid the foundation for them. Uh, but then the third question that comes, what is it that you're doing for the people? Mm -hmm. uh, what is it that the people will remember you for? Mm -hmm. And this is why. I want, to, I want to leave a legacy of hard work. I want to leave a legacy of promoting togetherness in the community. These three things, and promoting peace in the community, these are the, th the three things I want the people to remember me for. Mm -hmm. and, and this country, I think, is needing people to unite the, the, the people uh, in the communities, respective communities. You see, Billy, it's the little things that we do in the communities mm -hmm. that make a difference in the entire nation. So my, our contribution in, in Monali, and another person uh, makes a, a similar contribution somewhere else, it will change the face of Zambia. Uh, so um, I'm only thinking that why can't we, uh, for once, be selfless to our country and help 
those that we can help. So far, Billy, what I've been doing in the, in the constituency is that I've been participating uh, in the community projects. Uh, we are doing one by three classroom block at uh, Kapiomba Primary School. I've contributed 1,000 blocks there. I've also contributed uh, a, a number of pockets of cement uh, there so that we can we can complete the one by three classroom block. Uh, I've also contributed to the building of Mount Peoples Hall at Karikrik Parish. Um, uh, I've also uh, contributed um, for, the, for the toilet uh, that uh, was being built uh, by the men in church of a uh, reformed church in Kaunda Square. Uh, I've also, uh, I'm also contributing in a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of community projects mm. in the community itself. So by doing that, I'm, I just want to be, you know, a, a community leader. I grew up in different homes where um, I was kept by different people. Um, I think at, at this point, I want to pay back to, uh, not, not necessarily paying back to the actual people that mm. helped me, uh, what I believe is that uh, when when you help someone, uh, that person uh, is not supposed to necessarily help you, but should be able to help another person. Mm. And that is how it's supposed to be. So me, I was helped when I was growing up. To be who I am, I was helped. So even me, I'm supposed to be a blessing to other people as well. My family, I know uh, my children, they won't get disappointed when they grow up. It won't just be a word to say, um, mm. But at least they'll, they'll have a foundation. They will found, find something where they can start. Uh, they can start from. Mm. But the challenge I always give them is that, look, these things I've done are mine. So you, you need to ride on these things and build your own things. So that as a family, again, uh, uh, my children should not just sit and say, "Akai, our father has done all these uh, these things for us." But it, it is a foundation for them. Uh, so that even them, they can they can compete now with what I have. They can uh, uh, do better than what I did. Now, for me, I'm on another level where uh, I want also the community or the constituency itself to remember that we had a Chris Pinchinda in this constituency mm -hmm. who was born and bred in this constituency, and uh, he promoted that work amongst the young people. And these are the things that I want to do. So my coming into uh, to, to political platform mm -hmm. is a little bit different. The reasoning is a little bit dif uh, di different because I really want to be selfless. I want to make a difference in the in the in the constituency and and, and contribute uh, to the development of our people, to uplifting the standards of our, uh, our people in the constituency. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, after yeah. having achieved all what you've mentioned uh, over the contributions that you've been making in terms of building. Uh, building uh, the toilets for the churches, uh, building schools, uh, class blocks. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see yourself continue, or rather going ahead with, uh, uh, with, with your political career, even after, uh, if, I, I don't know how can I put, but even after losing an, an opportunity of being a uh, member of parliament for Mdani, yeah. do you see yourself continue with this uh, political career? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Billy, yeah, I'll tell you something. It, in 2016, I, I attempted to uh, to stand, uh, but I was not successful. Okay, uh, this did not stop me from contributing in the constituents. Mm. Uh, I've been doing these community works for a long time. Mm. Uh, we were a lot of us who wanted to stand in 2016. Uh, uh, most of them, they kept quiet, they went silent. Mm. But for me, I continued to interact with the people, I continued to help out with the people in the constituency. And I've been doing that up to now. It's not that I've started now, but I started a long time ago. And I'll, I'll continue, even in 2021, even if people decide. And this is why I, I don't talk about any political party, because I want the community themselves to accept me that this one is our son, this one is our brother, mm -hmm. this one is a person who has, is the son of the soil who has grown up in the constituency. I'm not talking about any political party, but I'm appealing to the people in the constituency, the people that votes in the constituency, that at least we have a friend, we have a brother, we have a son of the soil who knows this area better, who knows how Kalingalinga is, mm -hmm. who knows Kamanga, who knows Kaunda Square State 1 and 2, who knows uh, Grips, who knows uh, Choston, Avondale, you know, Mtendere East. At least I'm th uh, that one person who knows these areas. Mm -hmm. And I know that uh, by working together, we can take that development where, which, is, uh, which is supposed to be, to be done in these respective areas. Zambia has seen quite a number of people who are giving the poor, the people, in exchange of votes, 
the people were giving out something in exchange of winning the people's hearts the people were giving to empower others the people were giving just to make others look like beggars what kind of a person are you well me i'm a person who, who wants to appreciate hard work and I remember that um, CBU student who became a bus conductor um, in Kuruma town. When I saw that on TV, um, I went to appreciate him because he was doing something that is extraordinary. That guy is not from my constituency to say that uh, maybe when I do something in return, I'm, I'm going to, to, to expect a, a vote from him. But uh, I want to be that person who wants to promote hard work. I want to be recognized that at least when I see hard work, wherever it is, I'll go there and appreciate. So when I went, when I went to, uh, to, to, to visit that guy, I gave him a 2,500 kwacha. Um, I mean, everyone else saw what happened. And, and there are a lot of people that responded. Mm -hmm. His life is no longer the same. Even government has recognized him. Um, he's a, he's a, a good rural ambassador together with the Mongo rice guy. Mm -hmm. He's a good, good rural ambassador and a Ministry of Youth and Sport. For me, I'm delighted. And for me, I'm very happy that uh, at least hard work has been appreciated somewhere. Uh, there was also um, an old lady who came to my office. Uh, uh, she had a, a tiring shop uh, in a city market and uh, it, it was gutted. It, was, um, it went when uh, city market was gutted. But she, she didn't stop. She was trying and she got some money from somewhere. And unfortunately, that the business that she started, it couldn't work out properly. And that, those people took her to court and the, the court ruled against her. She came to my office. Uh, she told me, when I looked at her, she's, uh, I mean, at the age of my mother. So um, all I did is that she's, she's not from Monari constituents uh -huh. again. She's from Mongolia. So what I did is uh, I gave her some money so that she can go and pay. Um, uh, when she went, she came back with two rabbits in appreciation. But one thing that I learned from there, Billy, is that uh, uh, even me, when I help people, it doesn't mean that I haven't been helped. But the question is, have I gone back to go and say, even a simple thank you to those people that have helped me? I think it's a challenge to, to all of us. Mm. Uh, of course, I don't expect that uh, when I help someone, then someone is supposed to come back and say thank you. No, um, a, a helping hand does not accept, uh, ex expect anything. We just help so that that person uh, is also helped in, a, in, in another way. So in the constituency itself, there's also a, a young lady uh, that, that uh, got pregnant at the tender age and dropped out of school. Um, uh, the case was brought to me and uh, I managed to, uh, to send her back to school. I think um, the, she has even completed grade 12 now. Uh, there, there's another student at University of Zambia again uh, who came through, um, the, the parents died. Uh, so I also helped, you know, in, in paying. She, she was at 75% um, uh, bursary and uh, the 25%, this, uh, that's the one that she, she needed to raise. So I also helped because I, I looked at uh, um, how committed she was to finish to complete school and um, you know how serious she was and, and the circumstances just surrounding that I don't expect and she's from the Cooper belt as well so I, I'm not I'm just helping those that that, that I can mm -hmm. there are a lot more uh, in the constituency itself even at Kamanga uh, there was a woman who, who approached me who came to say uh, that she didn't have money but uh, uh, her child has done very well I, I, I also helped mm -hmm. and and these these things that I'm doing it's not that I'm expecting anything uh, like I'm expecting votes but it's as you Ubuntu we are supposed to be helping each other and this is what I'm encouraging in the constituents that let's help each other I know that we can do a lot of things not or not only one hand not only my hand can manage to help everyone in the constituency but as a people in the constituency when we are united we can do a lot and we can help uh, each other in that way like that mm. yeah. uh just drawing you back from away from the political career mm. we get into business now yeah as a business person now mm. how have you experienced 2019 the year 2019 2019 has, uh, has been a challenging year, but you know, um, when you wake up in the morning, um, uh, you, you first pray that uh, God has given you another life. 
and then uh, you plan for the day. You don't you, you you don't sleep. We don't encourage people to uh, to to sleep, you know. And then you are on you are in bed. You are thinking of what to do. You have to stand up in the morning. Go out there. Go and face the world. You know, face to face. Plan of what you want to achieve in a day. At least uh, by 17 hours, there they could be something that you attempted to do. If you haven't achieved the following day, obviously you'll be able to achieve it. So 2019 was very challenging because we saw uh, that um, uh, mini meal, which is our staple food, was going up and some commodities uh, were going up because obviously the exchange rate and, and other, um, uh, uh, like the climate change, uh, we saw these, uh, the, the challenges that came with uh, all these things. Uh, so, you know, rains, rains uh, makes us, makes our lives very easy. Because when it rains, we have power, mm. we have food, we have, you know, all sorts of things. But uh, when you experience a drought, when you experience that climate change, then you're going to have those difficulties. And, and those difficulties, natural difficulties, uh, natural calamities will bring difficulties in doing business and in doing a lot of things. But uh, as a businessman, well, you don't, like we say, that you, you cannot put your eggs in one basket. Mm -hmm. You always, you should always try to put in, in three baskets in case the other basket uh, drops and, and the eggs, you know, breaks. Mm -hmm. So you have the two other baskets. So uh, in, we've always thinking of diversifying. You know, you start up this business, you start up another business like that. Uh, so if this business is not doing very fine, uh, the other business will complement, will complement the other business. Uh, for me, I'm into um, um, real estate. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm, not that I'm, I have properties uh, for renting out. Of course, I have a, a shopping mall mm. um, where I receive rentals uh, every month. Um, I also have a lodge on their side. I also have uh, another company uh, for logistics. You see, so um, the business was slow, but you keep on going and keep on thinking of how you can you can move on, you can survive. In case there's someone who's planning to start up a business, mm -hmm. uh, I want to advise that the business is very good, but it has its own difficulties. Mm -hmm. But that that d does not discourage anyone. Um, uh, the, the advantage of business is that uh, you're going to leave uh, uh, something for your children. Mm -hmm. uh, your children will inherit a business that you've created for them. Mm -hmm. Uh, whilst he, whilst uh, in employment, you when you lose an employment today, tomorrow you'll be replaced. You, you or you die today, uh, there will be no one uh, uh, from your family to inherit you or uh, to replace you. But business is very good because then you can you can do whatever you want. You can buy whatever you want. Difficulties comes, but 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 they are worth it. You know, when you sort it, you move on. Uh, I mean, you can you can make it's, it's 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 something that is good. It's something that can you know make you to be on your toes. Uh, you can you can drive whichever car you want. But when you're working, you drive an expensive car. They will start questioning you. Where are you getting the money to buy to maintain the vehicle uh, or to buy the vehicle? Mm. And and you see, so this world where we're going now, I think I would want to encourage more and more people to think of uh, starting up a business. Mm -hmm. It is difficult, uh, that I'll tell you. It is difficult, yes, to run a business, but it is worth it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Uh, just Maybe just an appreciation as Prime Television. We'd like to appreciate you for the work that you've been doing and the support that you've been giving us. Uh, during this year, we had the program for Reporters of the Year, or my Reporters of the Month, and you had uh, sponsored that program as well. And you sponsored quite a number of programs like uh, the best uh, the best newscast of the month. You had sponsored that program. As Prime Television, would like to appreciate and thank you so much for having uh, supported us in whatever we had been do we have been doing as a TV station. So we have a clip that we'd like to look at, uh, just a quick review of what happened in the month. In that particular month, as we were awarding the reporter of the month. Let's take a look at this. 
Ninja of the Month on 31st May 2019 at 14 hours live on Prime TV. Prime Prime TV News Reporter of the Month to vote. Comment with the casual work, uh, this piece works, yes. and uh, everything else is history. I started up my business, and the way I started up my business is I associated myself with people that were doing business, mm -hmm. and I developed a business mind, mm -hmm. Then I started running with the, with the, uh, with the little that I had. Mm -hmm. So those that are wanting to start business, they should, they should know that business, you don't start business with, um, with borrowing money. Mm -hmm. You start with the little that you have, with the knowledge that you have, mm -hmm. and yourself waking up in in the morning wanting to do that that you desired to do. Mm -hmm. So it is very important to do that. So as uh, an MP for Manali, I'm going to be promoting uh, hard work mm -hmm. with, uh, with the young people. Exactly. Even um, the students at University of Zambia, I, I have no doubt that we can sort out some of the, mm -hmm. uh, the challenges that are going through there through hard work involving them. Exactly. Um, the members of the public they, they only know uh, the students at University of Zambia mm -hmm. for, for protests, rioting, and uh, you know, giving out metams. To uh, congrats, Mwape. Thank you very much. I'm so <laughs> humbled. Thank so, uh, just to run us through, uh, has uh, journalism been your, your thing from childhood? Not really. Mm -hmm. um, growing up, I always thought of being a, a, a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And basically, uh, my passion in that field was on the aspect that there are so many innocent people out there mm -hmm. that fail to get legal services and end up getting into prison because they have failed to access legal services. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to become a lawyer that would be able to provide a service mm -hmm. at a, at a mostly from bono basis mm -hmm. without a charge. Mm -hmm. And if there are any charges, maybe in the minimal. Mm -hmm. uh, a figure for maybe obvious logistics and all that. Mm -hmm. And so um, when I uh, completed my grade 12, looking at the available colleges and universities, mm -hmm. the call was for entries in January, and I didn't want to stay home for that long, so I decided to enroll for journalism, which was um, uh, closer to um, mm -hmm. the time I received my results. Mm -hmm. And so I was encouraged by my fiance then, mm -hmm. um, now my husband, mm -hmm. said, no, even journalism, you can still, you know, try and help people seek justice through mm -hmm. reportage mm -hmm. of um, uh, certain human vi uh, rights violations. Mm -hmm. And basically, you're not running away from what you really wanted to do. Exactly. So uh, that's how I got into the field of journalism. Mm -hmm. I had to learn to do the work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, through the help of several others, Patricia Mapiki from ZNBC was one of those that mentored me when I joined Movie TV. Mm -hmm. um, Piri just welcomed me in the institution from college. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any experience at all. Mm -hmm. And um, well, that's what happened on that particular month. Uh, as we're winding up, as we're winding up, I'm sure a lot of people have seen what you have been doing as an aspiring member of parliament for Minali. As we're winding up, maybe your final remarks, or maybe just any word that you'd like to give out to our viewers who are watching. Uh, firstly, to, to Prime TV, uh, any program that is promoting hard work, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. To the people out there, particularly the young people, I want to appeal to you that uh, uh, it is now when you still have the energy to do what you can do. Identify yourself, associate yourself with people that can help you. And when you do it, uh, when I identify you that you're doing something that is extraordinary, something that is different from what other young people are doing, I'll come and appreciate what you're doing so that the world can know what you're doing. All we want to do is to promote hard work amongst our young people. This country can only change when you work so hard. So everyone who's watching, uh, uh, wake up tomorrow morning, do something. We are going into 2020, let us be responsible. This is not the time for us to overdrink. This is not the time to, to abuse alcohol or drugs. This is the time to start reflecting and, and start planning on how uh, 2020 will be and 2021 will be. This country needs all of us. Thank you very much. Well, quite interesting. It's been a pleasure having you on this platform. Thank you, Billy. We really appreciate for your coming. We have been talking to Mr. Chris Pinch, who is also known as Chris Moore. 
Well, he is the aspiring member of parliament for Minali, and he is also a businessman. Well, it's quite been it's been quite interesting as we're counting down to the year 2020. Keep watching as we will be going on a musical break. Mwenzo kamba si bandera Basekulira ni CBU 
Bayamba kumbela Ndafya mokombo ni umu Bazansi boniki singa konyaki na chupa wa utu Bisema street benga Kupoke wa makatundu tanyaniwa Kulisi tisa kirile ni potantika Ndafya miti mazatu za safuka Rashi wetu wapa umza tikiri wole la mwenyumba Tupe ni kwenchi toturiba na venu fuego Ina nirira chironda Nchala ya nipweteka Si chironda chapande chima futo ya nipweteka Olo ni kumwa kamoa Nchala ya nipweteka Osa ni wane kuseka seka mafuto ya nipweteka Timenye ni koni mwenyumba Chiko pamala Na makwacha kwacha Anchito tizi wone kawala wala Makwacha kwacha Chimenye niko ni michiko pamala Makwacha kwacha Unga watula tiza pana njala Makwacha kwacha Ah, 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 life ya koza mzambia Anchito zipezeka Siki ya taisi It's already 2020, New Year is here right here as well. So something that you need to be super excited about and uh, something that we need to stay blessed and also be excited about. It's already 2020 and yeah, we've been counting down talking about that right there. Going out to Billy as well was with you right there talking about quite a number of things right there. Once again, good morning. It's already 2020 in the month of January right here. First. And my guest right here is uh, Munyoko. So, Mafikako, yeah. boss. Happy New Year. Mm, happy New Year to you too. It sounds like it's a dream, huh? Yeah, it's mm. a dream, but now it's a dream come true. Yeah. Because I'm now in 2020. Yeah. So, it's no longer a dream, it's a dream come true. If you are born this very day, we are wishing you happy birthday. I know it sounds very different, but yeah, it's 2020 already. And uh, like I said earlier on, we need to be super excited because it was the car of Chaka Chaka 2020. Yeah. We're still alive. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah, it's quite, it's quite very sad. There's someone that I know uh, who died on the 30th uh, over last year. And it's quite very sad. May I saw rest in peace right there. And uh, it's, it's quite very sad at the end of the day. And uh, we see other young people who take life for granted. Yeah, and for sure. uh, others right now as we're talking, they're just, I don't know, wasting their life at the end of the day right there. You as a comedian, 2020 is here. What are some of the things that we need to look out for? Yeah, as for as uh, for 2020, uh, you should expect more, uh, more especially from comedians. To be specific, from Munyo Koso. Mm -hmm. This is 2020, and you should expect something new, mm -hmm. something that will not only crack your lips, mm -hmm. but something that will also give you some lessons. Because we don't do comedies just to entertain people but uh, for them to get something from it so uh we are already in 2020 mm -hmm. so there's something new watch out for me and muza che month yanyo ni mankala ni life ya mapresha watu ambira madandaola wana spend shipwe shipwe my afrika january manje mapresha ya bwe 
Iyo ndiye problem hiyo. Mm-hmm. That's the only problem in mo na pandi. Ni mamvi la kambiri. Mama shita complain mamvi. They complain saying no January ma kosa ma kosa ma kosa bwanja iko sasa e kapepa ya poyamba. Ndera mas justa misuse zamina lina zone state dagansi lono na yamba January pa. How am I going to spend my money? How how am I going to use my money? Mm-hmm. And then I shita misuse pa ni pa jokondo kondo because no kondo la chako one day. Mm-hmm. Pese kati anazi sunga zendrama maybe kuyambira November, December Bofika January wa ononga Bawe wala nakutikuli kupereka wana kuskuru mm-hmm. Bawe wala kutu wazafunika kudia maybe the whole month Then at the end of the day they say no January ni ofuta January si ofuta, ofuta ni mtu wamini mm-hmm. Asewe nsa na mwananga gani zile mwananga isewe nsele January mm-hmm. Because to my view, kulibi manthi ofuta mm-hmm. If you work hard, life will be easy for you mm-hmm. So as for that yeah ni makana maningo na kamba tia vivu tension because they're going to spend mungali so tangia na 2020 then they'll forget and start complaining why can they complain to their hands or their minds which told them to misuse whatever they had so so that one ni kupkarara kwa na kusoma nzuri kwa and every max that you have before i get to let you go right and before we get to another performance right on the show is there anything that you like to talk about Yeah, uh, okay, there's nothing much to talk about. All, um, all I want to tell the people is uh, please take care. Yes, you're already in 2020, but take care. We still need you and two other years to come. Mm-hmm. So just take care of yourself. There was, no one will come to tell you that you will come up because it's so and so and so and so. But now, if you have 2020, it's good in the end of your life. There are many people still need your services. So for you to fulfill those, please take care of yourself. Yes, my number 2020, but be careful on how you handle 2020. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's all. Let's go on a snip short break. On the other side, we get to have uh, Kaskia as well as, as he gets to give us another performance right here on the show. And also forget we still have so much coming out right here on Prime TV as far as uh, 2020 as the year is concerned and how you should kickstart your year on a different note. So I always talk about why it's very important that you have to stick to your budget. Last year, 2019, I was talking about um, why it's very important that you have to stick to your budget. Now, 2020, it's here. And I uh, hope you get to apply all those things that you planned. Okay, so don't just uh, plan something that end of the day you get to forget about them right there. So we're going to talk about those a little bit later right here on the show as far as that is concerned. But for now, we're going to sleep short break. On that side, we'll get back with more right here on Prime TV. Yeah. 
lie, mama sita. I'm gonna wipe your tears. Baby, go your temper. Hey, run a rat. Congrats, kui exo be akupanya. Congrats, kui exo be akupanya. Tiwe soti mundi yo. Let me give you the love you want, I. Apa mande ne somba mumansi. Kanyoni na tim tengo. Itwangaliko, baby. Itwangaliko, baby. Baby, 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 hold me tight. Hey. Happy New Year, the year 2020 that we've been waiting for, it's right here. Happy New Year everyone who is watching us. At this time around, I am joined by Mr. Francis Peer, who is one of the management, who is one of the guys mm. from the management of Prime Television rather, who has joined us right now. As we are, as Prime Television, we decided that we give awards to one of the guys that performed very well during the year 2019. This is the very special moment that we've been waiting for. Good morning, Mr. Francis. Morning, Bidi, and uh, a happy new year to you. Happy new year to you all. Bless. It's great to be in the year 2020. We are here. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Can you go ahead with the words that we've been waiting for? OK, so um, uh, on behalf of uh, uh, Prime TV, production team, as well as uh, the technical department, we mm. thought um, we could um, award uh, uh, four individuals for their um, outstanding performance. Mm. Uh, of course, uh, this is all a courtesy of uh, uh, Chris Moore, uh, you know, lodges. <laughs> and exactly. then the proprietor <laughs> is here with us. Mm. Uh, he's the one who's uh, sponsoring this award. So we thought we could um, just uh, appreciate the efforts that um, the following people have been uh, you know, giving the station. So there are awards, uh, the categories are the best youth unleashed presenter, uh, best revolutionary presenter, best entertainment presenter, 
and best current affairs presenter. So I'll start with the uh, best current affairs presenter, and then uh, the award goes to none other than uh, Alexander Musokotwani. Maybe we can clap for Alexander. <laughs> then for the best entertainment presenter, this award goes to uh, D Black Malaka, who is. Uh, Congratulations. Then uh, best revolutionary presenter, I need to uh, say a few things here. What we mean by best revolutionary presenter, we are basically looking at somebody who joined us and then with immediate impact, you know, in a few times that he's been with a, a TV station, he's garnered so much support and then he has some, so much following even on uh, social media platforms. And this one goes to none other than Philemon, who is also known wow. as uh, PMC. <laughs> this morning is working as a cameraman, but hey. <laughs> then uh, Best Youth uh, and Niche Presenter, the award goes to Tokozani. Wow, amazing. Yeah. So these are the... Just your words of encouragement to the Prime TV yeah, members I mean, of staff. Um, to the winners, uh, congratulations. Um, they, they deserve it. Mm -hmm. To all the employees for Prime TV, um, putting in your best, um, working so hard, you will always uh, you know, bring good things. And um, like I always say, that. Um, Hard work is always appreciated. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm encouraging not only the employees for, uh, for Prime TV, but uh, every one of us, uh, let us put in our best. You can be educated, you are not educated, mm -hmm. but hard work is a key to any success uh, uh, for all of us. Mm -hmm. All these people that you're seeing that are successful is because they work so hard, they put in their best, and this is why they've achieved what they have, they've achieved. Uh, like I said, that um, anything associated with hard work, let me know. My, my door is open. Let me be part of it because I want to be associated with hard work. I am a product of hard work. So anything that, that uh, anyone is putting in their best, any program that you are introducing on TV, uh, appreciating people who are working very hard, let me be part of it so that uh, we can continue inspiring uh, many, many other employees and many, out, uh, many, many other people out there, particularly our young people out there, so that this generation can lead an example, can lead a life of hard working. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for continuing partnering with uh, Prime TV. Billy, over to you. We've crossed over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> with no carryovers. <laughs> no go go. Well, it's been great having you on this platform yeah. once more. Thank well, you. for now, we take another break. We'll go on the musical break for right, uh, right, right about now. So we'll get into another segment. Keep watching. Music Africa. Wonder Boy, Mr. Wonder Boy again. Losing a Rangata when you are in it. Girl, you're making me confused. Yes, sir. JY 
spicy. Kademo, ah, made this. J Max, the way you love me, you way. I swear you were making confusing. I wanna show you, baby, something new. Take it easy, baby, listen me. I wanna show you, baby, something new. Hey, girl, yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna make love to your bad and girl is your love. Yeah, yeah. You were just the one and the one for me. You were just the one and the one for me. One for me. One for me, baby, yeah. You are shine like a light. I need you, boo. Mimi na kupenda malaika wangu. Vidi vose ni zakamba upi with you. Put the gun, let's turn make a piece. The way you love me, you way. I swear you were making confusing, ne. The way you love me, you way. I swear you were making confusing, ne. Chila day brain ila shima polo twice mm. Kule kako wewo ni shindelu ishenshi mm. Chinshi cha kufele ushe ni wechenshi mm. Mona, olobano uko ni ndoshi uh. Uyu lafu umpa nkuna pama uh. Olobani ntwele kumupima kuna dama uh. Awe kuwa njipa afi nkuna pama uh. Wali mpenya kalo muti teti uwombe uh. Olo wali fumine po teti ndombe My only fish in the sea, my molonge <laughs> Nali kuchete kela teti ndonde Ale tien kumbata konomba Njika te kono tuma nomba As a good boy ove shilomba Chilombe lombe alombe lena kui lomba The way you love me you way I swear you were making confusing ne The way you love me you way I swear you were making confusing ne See, I'm losing up Langata oh, when you whine it, when you twerk it, when you... I'm losing me to love. The way you touch me, the way you kiss me, girl, yeah, yeah, oh, baby. I need you, I need you all my life. I feel you, I need you. Yeah. My love for my baby girl, I my know. baby girl, you're the one I yeah. My girl, why not buddy on me? I give it to me, bum, bum, big hello. Don Fred, can't say lie. Six powers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can jam this girl one time. Turn up music, Africa. Turn up music, Africa. Wonder boy.
So once again, we're still on uh, Prime TV right here as well. Awesome performance coming all the way from uh, JYC right there. Uh, something entitled uh, Confused is the title of that song right there. So we get to dive into another different aspect. So area O and I to talk about is very vital that you start your new year with uh, something very interesting, rather motivation and also other stuff because we learn each and every day. We get to learn uh, new things as far as that is concerned right there. Once again, it's a new year, 2020, just in case you didn't know. And it's very important that we get to remind ourselves on some of the things that we need to work on right there. So I'm joined by uh, Mr. Humphrey right here. As we get to find out a few things. Uh, he's been doing some background motivation, so we had to drag him right now and just get to have him on TV on set with us. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. How are you, sir? Mm, happy 2020. Happy 2020 to you, too. Yes. So, basically, the reason why we had to bring you right here, uh, in line with um, how people are supposed to start their year, there's quite a number of things that need to be worked on. From your personal background uh, research, how do you feel or rather think should someone start their year? Okay. Uh, basically, a year like the year 2020 it has been or it has already started right now you find that each time when a year starts it comes empty but it's for an each and every individual to put in something at the same time uh most of uh most of the times i usually feel for the youths <laughs> the youths i have a heart for them this is to say they need to be productive you know, um, for one to be productive, you have you need to have like somebody who should be able to guide you, those that have been through life. You understand? So, um, like for example, uh, the scripture say, uh, Luke chapter 16 verse 40 says, mm -hmm. when a student is well trained, you'll be like his teacher. So, as we are born, we come from different backgrounds. So it also depends how well one has been trained. And nothing has ever been achieved on earth without focus, without determination, without discipline. So you cannot just jump in into a year 2020, start celebrating the numbers changed. No, it's not so. You got to sit down and start analyzing things. What have I achieved? What am I supposed to celebrate in this 2020? Because, I, for, for example, like to my side, I cannot just say, oh, yeah, 2020 has come. No. What I'm supposed to look behind, what have I achieved? For example, like my son has just uh, passed to uh, grade 8 now. Mm. Yeah, innocent. My uh, happy new year to him too. So you find that one has to be critically understanding how to go by through life. Because life we are not just going to get into life blindly we should be able to know why we are here on earth we should be able to understand why am i born in this particular family that i'm born to because we are here to born to make a change you understand so a year shouldn't be able to repeat itself just like the way 20 uh 20 the past 2019 of say so it shouldn't be like a repeat of 2020 we should have a focus to say, now that I'm in 2020, what sort of a things that I didn't achieve in 2019 that I'm supposed to achieve? Because by the end of the day, we need to be able to know and understand that uh, I need to make a difference in my life. I need to make a difference in my nation because so many things out there are happening. People are just um, lowering in small, you know, small mindset you know whereby they're not able to make things for themselves ending up blaming others for their predicament but one thing i happen to understand in life like for me i am born to make a difference and i was born at such a time like this to make a difference that the world cannot do without me mm -hmm. one should be able to know that why am i here on earth that's the most important question that one should be able to ask why was i born in zambia you are here to make a difference. Mm -hmm. For the youth out there, be able to gather yourself and be determined to the goals that you have. 
be able to be assured yourself, assuring yourself that me, I need to make a difference in my family that I'm born. I need to make a difference in my community that I'm in. I need to make a difference. Mm -hmm. So that's an encouragement that I have for the youth. We are able to make it. Should we always wait for another year for us to get to make that difference that you're talking about? Or maybe there's something that we can still get to work on in line with uh, making plans. Because there's always that excitement mm -hmm. uh, from a whole lot of people right there saying, I'm looking forward to 2020. Now, 2020 is here. You find that people no longer have those plans that they planned area. They stop working on them. Should it always be another year to tell us like, okay, I need to work on certain stuff that I need to work on? Uh, basically, not so. You find that uh, what I happen to understand is uh, each one of us lives within 24 hours. Nobody lives above 24 hours. So you find that uh, God has given us to live in each single day. That is 24 hours. And in this very 24 hours, we need to make plans. We need to be determined because that is the chance that I have. Because I don't know what tomorrow will be like. So if I have my 24 hours, I need to be able to know that ah, this 24 hours that has come now, what am I supposed to do? Because it's just like in the morning, when you wake up in the morning, what is it that you should have in mind first? Because you cannot just wake up in the morning and get excited that, yeah, it's another day. No. One should be able to know that I've woken up another day and what am I supposed to do? Mm -hmm. It's just like a year has come now. One should be able to sit down that now this is another year. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to achieve? Because you cannot just go blindly. You should be able to know that in this new year, that which it's also an opportunity. Like the year 2020, it's also an opportunity for somebody out there. Know that that which I did not get into 2019, this year I'm determined and I'm courageous and I'm going to achieve it. Well, some stuff right there. Yeah, that's right. We should right. get to have a few more of uh, these coming days right there. But once again, happy 2020. To and, you too. And uh, we're looking forward to more of such motivation. Please, and please. It's very important. Of mine. Yeah. Thank you so much. So we're having a chat with uh, Mr. Humphrey Wright just to get to find out how important it is you have to start your... 2020 on a different aspect right there so motivation is not just about waiting for a new year at the end of the day is exactly it? exactly uh, you can still get to be motivated and make sure that you get to work on something as far as that is concerned once again uh, i know uh, someone was born uh, just a few days ago gideon right there was what was born this very day and uh, yeah other stuff right there but for now let's go on a snip short break when we get back we'll get back with uh, billy right here as we get to wrap it up for today and uh, this is pretty much what we'll be talking about. And also we get to have our guests right here. Maybe they have one or two things to get to talk about as we get to wrap it up right here. For the year 2020 starts right here on Prime TV, 1st of January 2020. So once again, that's pretty much on what we had today as far as the countdown is concerned. And like I said, area on right there. Let's make sure that we get to plan and uh, let's make sure that we get to work on certain stuff that we never go to achieve in the year 2019. 2020 is here and uh, 10 years now. So it's one of those questions that you're supposed to ask yourself saying, what have I achieved for the past 10 years? So it's a decade. They call it a decade. So it's something that you need to ask yourself a question. And if there's something that you need to work on let's make sure that we get to work on that thing that we're supposed to work on right there as well that's pretty much what we had today this morning as far as the countdown is concerned let's make sure that we celebrate well please let's not do what we should not do at the end of the day and get regret at the end of the day right there let's make sure we work on certain stuff like we said earlier on a big thank you to every guest who came through on this particular show and also you for watching 
Uh, we truly appreciate it for getting a uh, flank as well. It's great to know that you're watching right now for getting the entire team. Francis Salvador, uh, Brian Mumba, Billy, uh, Munyokos as well for coming through. Not forgetting Rex Shas, Cascade, JYC as well. The entire team it has been amazing. I will get back, continue watching Prime TV. And if there's something that you feel Prime TV needs to work on, send us your messages on our Facebook page. And we'll surely make sure that we get to work on those stuff right here on Prime TV.